Hello my dear fellow book lover friend, welcome to the beautiful eyes that are watching and listening to us. If you're looking for your next great book, you're in the right place. In this video, we're giving you a sneak peek into the book, The Nightingale, discussing everything from the characters to the themes, and to our favorite quotes. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the book, you won't want to miss this. We are grateful to have you with us and, we wish you all the strength to make your life worth living. Now, we are presenting to you the summary of the book, The Nightingale. The book, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, is a historical fiction novel set during World War II in France. The story revolves around the lives of two sisters, Vianne and Isabel, who are forced to confront the realities of war in different ways. Vianne Moriac is the elder of the two sisters, living in the small village of Caraval with her husband Antoine and their young daughter Sophie. When Antoine is called away to fight in the war, Vianne is left to deal with the challenges of raising a child alone in a country at war. As the German army approaches and eventually occupies France, Vianne is forced to make difficult choices to protect her family and community. Isabelle Rossignol, on the other hand, is a rebellious young woman who has been kicked out of multiple boarding schools and has had a strained relationship with her father since her mother's death. When Paris falls to the Germans, Isabelle decides to join the resistance and help fight against the occupiers. With her fiery spirit and determination, she becomes known as the Nightingale, a code name given to her by the resistance for her daring acts of bravery. As the war rages on and the sisters are pulled in different directions, they struggle to maintain their relationship and protect their loved ones. Vianne is forced to billet a German officer in her home and make sacrifices to keep her family safe, while Isabel puts herself in increasingly dangerous situations to help the resistance. Throughout the novel, the sisters experience the horrors of war in different ways. Vianne sees firsthand the brutality and violence of the German occupation, as well as the hardships faced by those left behind in the wake of war. Isabel, meanwhile, faces the constant threat of capture and torture as she carries out her dangerous missions. As the war draws to a close, the sisters must confront the aftermath of their experiences and find a way to move forward. Vianne discovers the truth about her husband's fate and is forced to confront the realities of the choices she made during the war. Isabel, meanwhile, must come to terms with the toll her actions have taken on her own life and the lives of those around her. The Nightingale is a powerful and emotional story of two sisters who must navigate the challenges of war and find the strength to survive. Kristen Hanna's beautiful writing and vivid descriptions bring the setting and characters to life, painting a vivid picture of wartime France and the struggles faced by those who lived through it. One of the main themes of the novel is the idea of sacrifice and what it means to truly give oneself for the greater good. Both Vianne and Isabel are forced to make difficult choices and sacrifices in order to protect themselves and their loved ones. Vianne must confront her own fears and prejudices in order to shelter Jewish children from the Germans, while Isabel puts her own life at risk to fight for her country. Another key theme is the idea of strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the horrors they witness and the challenges they face, both Vianne and Isabel find a way to keep going and never give up. Their love for their families and their country gives them the strength they need to endure even the darkest moments of the war. Overall, The Nightingale is a powerful and moving novel that explores the human experience of war through the eyes of two sisters. Kristen Hanna's beautiful prose and richly drawn characters make this a must-read for anyone interested in historical fiction, women's fiction, or stories of courage and resilience in the face of adversity. There are many reasons why The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna is a book that everyone should read. For one, it offers a unique perspective on World War II from the point of view of two French sisters who are forced to confront the realities of war in very different ways. Through the characters of Vianne and Isabel, the reader is able to gain insight into the lives of ordinary people caught up in the chaos and violence of war. In addition to its historical significance, 
The Nightingale is also a beautifully written novel that is both emotional and thought-provoking. Hannah's writing style is evocative and vivid, bringing the setting and characters to life in a way that is both realistic and moving. The story is full of twists and turns, keeping the reader on the edge of their seat from beginning to end. Another reason to read The Nightingale is its exploration of themes such as sacrifice, courage, and resilience. The characters in the novel are forced to make difficult choices and sacrifices in order to protect themselves and their loved ones, and their bravery in the face of adversity is truly inspiring. The novel also offers a poignant commentary on the toll that war takes on both individuals and society as a whole, making it a powerful reminder of the importance of peace and understanding. Overall. The Nightingale is a novel that is both important and enjoyable to read. Its combination of historical accuracy, beautiful writing, and inspiring characters make it a book that is sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone who reads it. Whether you are a fan of historical fiction or simply looking for a moving and thought-provoking story, The Nightingale is a book that should not be missed. You should read this classic book. We, thank you for being with us. Don't forget to check for other book suggestions on our channel. And, we suggest you to please, subscribe and support your this channel, to grow together. Thank you again.